Yo, so guys, this week here, back to another video. So I'm going to be giving you five tips on how to be a better aimer in Rainbow Six Siege, or any other FPS game for that matter. You know, we'll just go over that. Okay, number one, muscle memory and repetition. These are some very crucial factors when you're aiming. I'm going to show you a CSGO clip here. As you see, I'm flicking between heads, just snapping onto them. This is because I've developed my muscle memory to flick onto the heads with my sensitivity that I've got. So I, just, I can just do it with ease. It's really easy. Um, so... If you guys go into Terrace Hunt or play CSGO, go onto the Aimbots map and you guys find your perfect sensitivity. I've already got a video on that, so go ahead and check that out in the description below. Alright okay, guys, uh, with that, let's go to the next tip. Okay, part 2, flick aiming. Um, this is not really an aspect of aiming like uh, regular crosshair placement or anything like that. It's more of a tool that you can use. For example, if you're going into a room and you're aiming in the center of the room and there's a guy to the left of the room, uh, you're not going to be aiming there, so how are you going to look onto him? You're going to use flick aim. Um, so you can, if you can flick to him, you can kill him, yeah? So, in a way, that's improving aim. Uh, the way to improve this aspect is to go on the CSGO's train map that I'm on right now. Surely a lot of people know it. I'll try and link it in the description if I can find it. Um, or you can go on the Rainbow Six Siege and you can get an ACOG or holographic reflex, whatever site you want, and you can just go ahead and keep your aim away from the terrace and then flick onto them whenever you need to. Okay, let's go on to the next tip. Okay guys, tip three, crosshair placement. One of the things that pros can't stress enough, if you look here, I'm shooting the sledge, you see where my crosshair is? It's mostly at head level. If we just pause this in a second, uh, when I go back to aim in, but like, this clip is going to be used in the next video, so make sure to check it out. As, if you see here, you see the buckles on the right hand corner of the screen. Um, okay, if you can see the buckle right there, um, you can actually use that to pinpoint enemies' head levels. If you see Blackbeard, he's actually lining up with it pretty good, but because he's leaning, he's a little bit limped over. Um, we'll go ahead and continue the video here. But crosshair placement is something that pros can't stress enough because it is such an important role in getting the first shot onto your enemy and killing people. Alright guys, let's move on to tip 4. Okay guys, tip 4. Uh, turning down your sensitivity and realizing that your sensitivity is a bit too high. If you guys run sensitivities like 100 on PC, um, just realize that you don't really need that. Um, because with mouse and keyboard, you have the ability to well, basically flick anywhere you want with your mouse, so there's no real need to have uh, 1000 sensitivity with uh, 4800 DPI when you can just simply be more accurate and have better flicks and just have better aim overall and be able to control yourself a bit better. Um, this is a bit subjective, I can understand, because personal preference is a real thing. Um, but yeah, if you guys have high sensitivity, please just try out low sensitivity for a week. You will not regret it and you will love it. Okay guys, let's go on to tip 5. Okay guys, tip number 5. Letting the recoil will do the work. This is another tactic that will take a bit of practicing to get used to, but it can be really good when you get it to pay off. Um, letting recoil do the work is basically stopping all the recoil control. So, uh, going off the analog stick like putting your thumb off it or sliding it back in the middle or you know just stop controlling recoil whatsoever and let the recoil land you that headshot if you're aiming, aiming at chest level 80% of the time and get that sweet headshot okay guys hope you guys have enjoyed my five tips on how to improve your aim in Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege if you guys liked it like it if you guys want to go ahead and leave it a nice comment go ahead and if you guys really liked it go ahead and subscribe thank you guys for watching peace Thank you